There is no doubt in my mind that this region is the most consequential region to us as a nation. When I look at the future of America, uh, that future lies out here. This is a critical time for us, not only because of the most urgent threat, maybe North Korea, but also as we see a rising China. We look at our other regional partners here, Japan and South Korea, they're counting on us uh, to partner with them to make sure that we maintain the rules-based international order that has led to the prosperity, not only of the United States, but of many of our friends and partners that are out there. We don't fight unilaterally. We almost always fight as a coalition. Any fight that we would have out here in the Pacific would be the same. A ballistic missile launch has been detected. Sir, let's go. We got a lot of action going on here, sir. Uh, I had the great fortune to be the commander of that AOC about a decade ago, um, and watching it develop over that last decade to a very robust command and control capability that ultimately has the uh, task of command and controlling air power over half of the globe. Now Warhead is uh, set to impact at 13 minutes and 53 seconds. Clearly we're asking a lot of our airmen. Uh, we have responsibilities that our airmen are tasked with that are above and beyond that the, the responsibilities that perhaps I had when I was uh, uh, in, in their shoes at their age. Uh, and so what we owe them is we owe them the resources to take on those responsibilities. Uh, we continue to work to articulate the requirements. We continue to make sure that we give the, our airmen not only the resources they need, but the training they need in order to be that forward deployed airman that is ready to fight tonight. Now more than ever, it's about the command and control of, those, of that war fighting capability. Our airmen are versed in the, the command and control of air power, but they're doing it shoulder to shoulder with their joint partners. If you look at from the global dynamic and the regional powers, uh, this is the future of America maintaining its competitive advantage and America remaining the great nation it is is gonna happen because of the great work that our airmen, soldiers, and sailors, and Marines are doing out here right now.